Hi guys, hope you guys are doing well and today we're going to cover a much easier topic of computer graphics called polygon filling algorithms. Okay, so before that, what is polygon filling? Well, polygon filling is something that highlights all the pixels inside my polygon. Okay, so I have this polygon. It's going to highlight all of the pixels inside my polygon with any color other than the background color. So let's say if I have this polygon right here and these are all my pixels my background color is white so I have to color it with anything other than white let's say blue purple orange or anything but white okay so this was pretty basic so how can we do this uh, how can we feed this to an algorithm well there are two methods first one is a seed fill method and it is broadly categorized into two parts first the boundary filling algorithms and the other one is the flood filling algorithm okay so um, these two are uh, algorithms with the very slight differences in them and we're going to soon learn what those differences are and also we're going to be learning about the scanline algorithm but that's a topic for another video and it is much more complex than these two are okay and it is used for scanline is basically used for larger polygons and there's a reason for that and I'll be addressing that in the future scanline video okay so what is boundary filling well in this method the edges of the polygon are first drawn then starting with some seed any point inside the polygon we examine the neighboring pixels to check whether the boundary pixel is reached so this boundary drawn here is a boundary pixel and I highlight each of the pixels till I reach the boundary pixel if the boundary pixels are not reached pixels are highlighted and the process is continued until the pixel is reached so what does this mean is that let's say here we have a pixel okay so from here where I see I have four options so I can select this one as my next pixel I can go up I can go to my right and select this pixel I can go to my left and select this pixel or I can go down and select this pixel so this way I get a four-way connected region also if I consider the points like northeast or northwest or southwest or southeast then in totality I have totally eight pixels so this is a eight-way connected region so let's say if this pixel was x comma y then this pixel would be x x comma y plus one this one would be x plus 1 comma y this one would be x minus 1 comma y I mean you get the ideology behind it right so that's what we do we start from here we color this pixel then we start coloring the neighboring pixels like this one this one this one this one now each of these pixels are again fed into the algorithm and we get another four pixels like this and so we continue till we find the boundary color so how do you put this into the form of an algorithm well it's very easy guys I have this boundary filling algorithm right here where my X and Y are my seed the seed coordinate in the previous figure the seed coordinate was this one because this is where I started my algorithm that was my seed so a seed is inside the polygon okay so the F color is my new color which I want to paint my polygon with and the B color is my background color which in case of a computer is zero that is black here it is white because it's a paper fine so what we do is we get the pixel of the X and the Y coordinate okay and we check whether is equal to the boundary color so this condition means that 
have I reached my boundary color? So if I have my boundary here, so and I check this pixel, okay, so it checks whether I have reached this color and it will check if my pixels color equals to the boundary color that is blue in this case. So if I haven't reached, okay, then I also say, check my other condition. Is my pixel color not equal to my front color? Like I said, that let's say if I've already, um, I've got the seed here, okay, and I've already painted it blue. And let's say this coordinates are again fed into the system. So it checks whether I have already painted this. If I've already painted it with my new color, then there is no need for putting this pixel back. Okay, so if these two conditions are satisfied, that is, if I am putting a pixel that is not equal to my boundary color, and if I'm putting a pixel that is not equal to a pixel that I've already colored, then I put pixel, I put that pixel. Next, I make a recursive call to the boundary fill algorithm saying that, okay, I have got this covered, okay, I have painted this, so I need to paint the next four by x plus 1 comma y. So x plus 1 comma y will give me this region. x comma y plus 1 will give me this region. x minus 1 comma y will give me this region and x comma y minus 1 will give me this region. So if you want an 8 connected region then you can say I want you can make a recursive call to x plus y comma y plus 1 for this one and x minus y comma y plus 1 for this one. Well, you get the idea behind it. So this is the way it works. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and I'll make a new video for the flood fill algorithm because I think I am running out of time. Okay, I don't want to make it longer for you guys and thank you for watching and do comment if you understood the video. Thank you guys.